the Qmetry and Jira integration. Now, once you are inside your Jira software, as an admin, you have to basically go to your apps and install the Qmetry plugin. So look for the Qmetry app. And this is the Qmetry app that we are looking for our Qmetrytest management and Jira integration. So the Qmetry Jira integration app and just click on get app and basically install the application on your Jira instance. Now, once the application has been installed, you'll be able to see Qmetry configuration option available. Go to Qmetry configuration option. And this is where you'll be able to provide the credentials to connect to your test management. Or you can also go ahead and provide the open API key. Now, the way customers would do it is they would create uh, a service user in the test management and then provide the credentials for of the service user that would be utilized for integration purpose only or you can go ahead and provide the admin credentials directly as well the service user that you create should also have all the admin rights to be able to connect to all the projects inside our test management so let's go ahead and provide the open api key directly and click on connect now once you click on connect now we have successfully established connection between qmetry test management and our jira instance now once the instance has been connected go back to qmetry test management and to verify the integration go to the integrations tab click on integrations and this is where you'll be able to see all the active jira instance on our qmetry test management so these are the list of all the different instances that are connected but to have a look at our instance you can see this is where we have connected our instance and it is in active status now if you make any changes or if there are any connection issues available, this is exactly where you'll be able to identify whether your Jira connection is still active with Qmetry or not. So connection between our Jira instance and Qmetry test management instance. All you have to do is enable the plugin on specific projects. To do that, go to your projects. Let's say this is the project on which we want to enable our plugin and then go to project settings. Now, once you're in project settings, all you have to do is go to Qmetry features and enable the plugin on that specific project. Once we enable it, go to issue types and then select the issue types that we want to basically synchronize back to our test management. Now, by default, all of them would be synchronized. But if you want to disable any one of them individually, let's say we don't want the subtask to synchronize back to our test management, we can go ahead and disable it as well. Once the configuration has been completed in Jira on the project level, you have to come back to the test management so that we can synchronize those uh, assets directly to our test management project. To do that, go to projects, go to project release and cycle, and go to the project in which you want to create that integration. So let's say we go to our current project that is Acme Core, and then you go to integrations tab. Now, once you're in the integrations tab, you can see we have the option called Jira. Go ahead and select the Jira instance. Now, once you select the Jira instance, you would see we have our instance available. And then we would be able to access all the projects available. Let's say we select Qmetry UI project, and then we go ahead and select the Jira issue types that we want to synchronize in the form of requirements back to our test management. Let's say I want story and epic to show back in our test management as our requirements. And then for my issues, I want my bugs and tasks to synchronize back. We can go ahead and select the folder as well. So if I click on browse, I can go ahead and select which folder do I want to synchronize back my current Jira project. So let's say Qmetry UI Jira sync, click on add, and then we can go ahead and select that specific folder, click on select. And now all these stories and epics would be synchronized back to our current configured project. If I go to actions, any user defined fields that we want to synchronize back as well can be selected from here. Click on save and then click on save and activate. 